The Legacy 1000 is a single shot, bolt action, variable pump pneumatic air rifle. It can shoot .177 caliber alloy pellets up to 1000 FPS, lead pellets up to 750 FPS, and steel BBs up to 800 FPS. This air rifle features a sleek looking, lightweight, all weather synthetic polymer stock and forearm. The Legacy 1000 weighs a mere 3 pounds and 8.3 ounces or one kilogram and 596 grams. Its overall length is 38 and a half inches or 97.79 centimeters. And its height from the top of the rear sight to the bottom of the stock is seven and three eighths inches or 18.73 centimeters. Legacy 1000 is proudly emblazoned on this air rifle's receiver. The Legacy 1000 features a fiber optic front sight which aids in aiming in low light situations. This air rifle is equipped with a dovetail rail on top of the receiver so that a scope can be mounted. The bolt handle used to introduce the next projectile into the breech is located on the right side of the receiver. While the BB follower stem used as a gate to allow or prevent BBs from entering the built in 17 round magazine is on the left side of the receiver. The Legacy 1000 comes in an impressive looking box, proudly exhibiting this air rifle. The Crossman logo is proudly displayed on one end of the box, along with the words, Control Your Power, alluding that you could vary the FPS or feet per second of this air rifle, depending on how many times it is pumped using the forearm stock. The back of the box is divided into two distinct halves. The left side includes a section covering the basic specifications of this air rifle. In addition, a picture of the Legacy 1000 is included that points out important attributes of this air rifle, including an all-weather stock, easy access BB reservoir, easy pumping force, adjustable rear sight, and included 4x15mm scope. The right side of the back of the box provides a use case for the Legacy 1000. It is suited for plinking, backyard fun, and critter control. It also includes some information about the maximum FPS or feet per second based on the projectile type. An index of the feet per second based on the number of pumps is also included. The motto, Air, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Perfection is on the edge of the box. The inside of the box is rather lackluster brown cardboard with styrofoam inserts to hold the air rifle in place during shipment. Included with the Legacy 1000, is three manuals in English, French, and German, and a Crossman 4 by 15 millimeter scope with its own instruction manual. The Legacy 1000's crossbolt safety is located behind the trigger. Push the safety from the left side to engage. The red ring should not be showing when the safety is engaged. 
push the safety from the right side to disengage. The rear sight can be adjusted for both windage and elevation. Move the sight elevator back to raise the point of impact. Move the sight elevator forward to lower the point of impact. Loosen the windage adjustment screws. Move the rear sight to the right to adjust the point of impact to the right. Move the rear sight to the left to adjust the point of impact to the left. Tighten the windage adjustment screws when finished. The Crossman 4x15mm scope is mounted to the Legacy 1000's dovetail rail using two set screws circled in the picture. In order to adjust the elevation of the scope, remove the elevation adjustment cap. Turn the elevation adjustment counterclockwise to raise the point of impact. Turn the elevation adjustment clockwise to lower the point of impact. In order to adjust the windage of the scope, remove the windage adjustment cap. Turn the windage adjustment counterclockwise to adjust the point of impact to the right. Turn the elevation adjustment clockwise to adjust the point of impact to the left. Install both the elevation cap and windage cap when finished. Loosen the lock ring by turning clockwise. Adjust the eyepiece by turning either clockwise or counterclockwise until the image through the scope is sharp. Tighten the lock ring by turning counterclockwise. Engage the safety. Slide the grip cap towards the rear. Pour up to 200.177 caliber steel BBs into the reservoir hole. Close the grip cap. Pull the BB follower stem back and latch into the notch. Point the barrel straight down and shake and twist until the internal magazine becomes filled with BBs. Remove the BB follower stem from the notch and then release. Engage the safety. BBs need to be evacuated from the internal magazine before a pellet can be loaded. Pull the BB follower stem back and latch in the notch. Point the barrel straight up and shake and twist until the internal BB magazine becomes devoid of BBs. Remove the BB follower stem from the notch and then release. Pull the bolt all the way back. Insert only one point one seven seven caliber pellet into the loading port. Finally, push the bolt all the way forward. The Legacy 1000 can be pumped between 3 and 12 times. I recommend 3 pumps when shooting indoors. Do not pump more than 12 times or you could damage its internal seals. Engage the safety. Open the breech. Pump. Insert a pellet into the breech if using pellets. A BB should already be in place in the breech. Close the breech. Aim. Disengage the safety. Fire. And then repeat the process.
Today I am shooting at approximately 25 feet using my makeshift range in my garage. I was able to get all six shots within the inch diameter of the target. The accuracy of the Legacy 1000 is good due to its rifled barrel. The Legacy 1000 is a solid air rifle at a reasonable price. It is currently for sale on Amazon for $54.85. One of my favorite perks of this air rifle is its included 4x15mm scope. You can purchase the Legacy 1000 using my Amazon referral link in the description. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Boat Airgun so that you're alerted to my future posts. Thank you.